Hi, Danny with Mavermatic, and today I'm going to show you how to get continuity working on a late 2011 MacBook Pro. So the first thing you want to do is uh, find some screwdrivers. I like the Wheo ones. These are the small little Phillips uh, to open up the case. There's about 10 screws uh, to open the back. And I'm going to speed this thing up here just so you guys can see how to do it. Pretty simple, just unscrew some screws. Next, once you pop the cover up, you're going to see the Bluetooth module card is right there in the corner, right by the DVD drive. And carefully pop off these little uh, connectors. Like I said, there's three right here in the corner. Just be gentle. Then you're going to pop off this other antenna, which is right towards the middle. This part gets a little interesting because you have these little cables that are, are kind of connected like with a little holder. So what you want to do is remove the screw to the holder so you can pop it out so you can jiggle it a little bit. So there's two screws and you'll see here we pop it right out. And carefully you're going to want to slide the little cable and there's one right there in the back that uh, connects to the to the board and you'll see it here in a second that one right back there yep so once you get the holder out grab a little exacto knife and this holder has a it's, it's like a fabric cover uh, that's a shielding and what you want to do is just gently Pry up a corner. Uh, this took a little, little bit of effort, but once you get it off, you can see here where you can peel it back uh, and you can get access uh, to the to the card itself. So just be very careful at this point. Now, once you have it out, just grab the screwdriver and take out the screws that are holding that little board in place. The Bluetooth module that you remove is going to have a model number of 607-7291. You're going to want to replace that with one that has Bluetooth Low Energy 4.0, so it's compatible. This is the one that I found off eBay. It was taken from a later MacBook Pro, and it has a marking of 607-8962. So putting it back together is quite easy. It just snaps back in, and you just do the reverse process. Once you've done that, all you need to do is apply the screws back on the board and do the process in reverse. I sped it up here just so we can show you how to do this. So reapply the cover, the little fabric cover, and get the holder and screw the holder back in. The most critical part here is to make sure that you have all the little uh, connectors in the correct order. So be very careful here that you pop them back in and be careful with them because they are a little bit fragile. This is also a good time to clean the inside of your MacBook. There might be some dust and little fiber remnants. Uh, it's nice to kind of clean it up right now before you apply the cover. When you're ready to apply the cover, there's a little trick to this. You just basically place it on and towards the middle, you give it a nice little pop and you'll feel the center portion of it. There's, a little, there's like these little clamps that actually uh, kind of spring and, and, and attach. And once you do that, you just get your screwdriver and carefully apply the tiny little screws back in. Uh, don't overdo it. So the next step is to get the card to be recognized. So download our patch that we'll have available at Mavermatic.com. So this will enable OS X to recognize the actual Bluetooth card that you just installed. So the script basically runs and it'll handle everything for you. After that, you're going to want to reboot and we have all the instructions on our site. Next, you're going to want to open up your system preferences and you should see the magical enable handoff. Right there it says allow handoff between Mac and your iCloud devices. That should be checked. Now after you do that, you're going to want to sign out and back in to iCloud to re-enable everything. That usually is required to get a nice little kickstart. A couple more steps and you're all done. So now go under settings and general and handoff and suggested apps. You should see handoff and my app should automatically be 
enabled as well. And then you should see Safari automatically show up down there. I'm in Safari on my computer and I can log in and bingo bango, there it is, it works. If you found this video useful, please support Mabravanic by subscribing to our YouTube channel. And also visit us on Mabramatic.com for more information. Until next time, this is Danny Mabramatis with Mabramatic.